morning everyone. I'm back. Yay! Although you would have uh, watched a couple of the ones that I did before I left because I, I couldn't upload them while I was away. You know all that. <laughs> I've even brought, I don't know if this is going to work, but I brought my laptop. Um, that's got the wheel of names for the print giveaway. So hopefully we can um, do that here because it's all up. The names are all on the wheel of names, as it were. Oh, coffee. It's, it's lovely and early. No one's here. Uh, yeah, what is it, 8 a.m. roughly? Um, I thought I'd come early, have a, really good, have a really good walk around after a week of being away. Uh, yeah, I mean, we had a really, oh, it was very restful. Absolute, very, extremely, I mean, you would have seen it. I've, I've already uploaded this. What, what did I call it? Uh, Water Sea View, I think I called it. Um, it was really, really lovely place, really lovely place. We, we'd definitely go back next year, but for a bit longer, because we only had six days. Loads to do in that area of Wales. It's absolutely, oh, love that. Because you're kind of just above the middle of, uh, in, in Cardigan Bay, and on clear days, you can see the whole Cardigan Bay stretching out from end to end. Lovely. So many things to do as well. Really good. So it kept the boys. Well, it was really good. <laughs> oh, well, coming back though. I did come back very quickly yesterday evening and I put that clip on t in the front of the two that I couldn't upload just as a way of saying, oh, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, explanation or whatever. Oh, this coffee's nice. Um, so yeah, back at, back at, back to normal, I suppose. Yeah, fingers have grown like the clappers. Ooh, it's quite shocking actually. Um, things I need to deal with. Um, not only have things grown really f a lot, but also things have been et a lot. I think because we have had quite a bit of rain over this last week here. So the slugs and snails have been busy. They've, a, few of the, a few of my courgette, young courgettes have been chomped, all, all chomped. But I have a, a surviving courgette, so I, well, we'll have a little walk about in a minute. I've got to have my first coffee of the day. And my, the flowers, have, they're starting to go now. Come and have a look. I still haven't cleaned this glass. <laughs> well, I've been away. That's my excuse. The roses are all all gone, but the the, the um, uh, hollyhocks, I think they're called, they're they're quite prolific still, which makes me think I wouldn't mind getting a few seeds from the lady if I can if I can manage it once they've start seeding. It'd be nice to have some of those in the front in the front garden bit. Uh, what else? Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the wheel of names. I do hope it works. If it doesn't work here, I'll, I'll do it at home and add it onto this vlog. So it will, you'll know today or on this vlog. Oh. Lots of streaming to do. I mean, the whole same old stuff, really. It's just a lot of weeding. The weeds have grown on paths, in beds, that kind of thing. I know someone said, oh, uh, they're watching a YouTuber um, who's who's experimenting with not weeding. Obviously, because it helps the bio, ooh, the biodiversity of life and all that kind of stuff, which I, I quite like the sound of. I think I have a lot of those areas on the edges of my plot. But you do like your beds, to be clear. Or, and maybe to catch crop, that's where that comes in, doesn't it? I don't know, it's an interesting one, that. Maybe it depends on the weed. Some of the nasturtiums, oh my God, they're bigger than the tomatoes. Uh, especially the tomatoes that I've planted later. Oh, it is a bit blustery out there, but it's very nice. And it may rain later because there's gray clouds looming. Well, let's go and have a walk about. Oh, I'll quickly show you. I've, um, I added, I mean, this is, you would have seen this 
in the um, earlier vlogs, me doing them, and then I've been away, and they got a little bit leggy, uh, quite a few of them, especially these and the uh, the beetroot, and that's the uh, Brussels sprouts. That's the purple sprouting broccoli. They're the leeks. I'm not. I think I might be too late. For, I might be late for leeks, but I'm gonna just experiment and just go with it. They're the peas, so they're looking all right. Only three out of four have germinated. It's not many, but I mean. Yeah, I just needed to do this kind of, these were late deciders, and they're the uh, beetroot. I mean, beetroots, I don't know what's going on with my beetroot, it just, it, I, they germinate, and then they just sort of don't grow, so it's been an interesting one. Uh, yeah, let's go outside. Oh, uh, sage seeds. I like to grow a whole bank, I'll show you outside, at the front at least, it may be the size. Yeah, look at that. It seems like grass grass is grown. Lots to do. I've just brought a bit of cardboard because I need to repair that bed over there. Um, you'll, we'll have a look at it in a minute. I'm just finishing my coffee. There we go. So these need cutting back. These are raspberries. Cutting back and putting somewhere else. Digging up. That's a, a job to do. These are going to flower soon, these sunflowers, I reckon. Well, that one will. Uh, that needs dealing with a get as usual. <laughs> but uh, the, um, see, the weeds have grown a load on this bed and the cauliflower have been kind of munched and look a bit sad. But that's one beetroot that's probably the most healthiest looking beetroot. It's very late, I have to do that, make sure I do it earlier next year. And the spinach is all, oh, was it? Yeah, that's not, that's not doing. Look at it. This all needs weeding. And that all needs weeding and there's a random ball. I don't know where that came from. Someone's dog, I should imagine. This bed's really odd. It's, well, this courgette's doing very well, actually. That's pretty good. Still, it's early. It's too early. I mean, I, I mean, I did them quite late. I should have started them earlier, but you le you learn. Uh, next year. But look at all that. It's coming through. So I've got the cardboard for that. That's actually looks a bit pale, but it's it's growing. It looks they should be enormous. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, obviously I put these in too late, but the grass all needs cutting back. I've not really looked at this rhubarb. It's all green. Looks good though. Must have. It looks like it's grown loads actually. This is where the the pond, aka Jim and Maureen's swimming pool, are going. <laughs> uh, probably this this bit here for it will then hopefully serve that and that in terms of frog activity toad or frog activity for slugs and stuff and it'd be a nice point of interest as well I think that courgette's growing needs a little needs weeding here weeding there loads of weeding <laughs> it's always loads of weed I don't know I know what's yeah uh, keeping them or no nah, I've got to I can't can't do it that's still there which is great it will flower really well next year and hope you know it's it's stretching I could do with putting more of this on. I was going to put the other stuff on, but I need a stool to kind of reach up. Oh, uh, the cucumbers. I need to tie that one. Um, where's a cucumber there? Oh, there's a big one down there. Let's just go and get it. Where is it? Oh, look at that. Oh my God, it's going into the ground. Oh, that's fantastic. That's huge. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Well, I don't have to grow, um, grow. I don't have to buy cucumbers today. 
because I've got to do a shop. We've got no food in the house. Look at the, look at the nasturtiums. I can point with my cucumber. Look, look at them. They're smothering the. Um, in fact, that needs tying up. To be fair, smothering the tomatoes. Wow. I don't know what that's. What's that growing? I, yeah, smothering. Um, this courgette looks like a bird had a fight. <laughs> so that's growing. It has, I can see snails been climbing on it, trying to munch it, but maybe it's a bit too tough now. Look at that. Doesn't that apple look fantastic? Is that a hole in it though? <laughs> oh no. Should have picked it earlier. Never mind. It's really for next year. Oh, I can just see the plum over there. I'll have to go and have a look at that in a minute. But this whole area needs sorting out as well. I mean, this is really good autumn onwards, ready for next year job. Yeah, be interested to see how the. Um, I think it's a loganberry over there, but we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. I think I'm going to have loads of tomatoes to take home, judging from the orange, they look fantastic. And there, lots of orange on the other side. These still look, well, obviously they're green, but, and these look, look at these. I've never grown tomatoes of that shape. They look fantastic. I'm looking forward to those. There's a, quite a few of them. Look at that. Cauliflower, well, they're there still. <laughs> Which is good. I can't see it's any sign of any actual cauliflower, so I'm not sure how, when that happens. But look, we're getting sweet corn here, which is brilliant. And the good old, oh, there's definitely be runner beans to harvest. I must do that as well. So I'm going to go round and harvest it before I go home. There's loads, I mean, quite a few big ones as well. I can find them. Look at them. It's going to be beans with our Sunday roast today. Compost is sunk, I can see it's sunk, which is great. Oh, let's have a look at the orange plum. The one and only plum. Wow. What do you reckon? Do you think that can be picked? <laughs> Next year. I need to think about this and like how I want it to grow. I don't want it to get too high. Keep it very low. Uh, and also it might, you know, pruning time. Find out when that is. Um, and keep, yeah. This, I mean, it's huge. It's amazing how fast they grow. Oh no, they've all got gone. The seedlings. There was a whole row of them. Ah. Oh. It is a lottery, isn't it? What lives, what dies. Brilliant. I'm going to be harvesting those in a bit. And the potatoes, they can't be that long before they're ready. It'll be interesting to dig some up, maybe dig up. Yeah, I could. I might dig up a corner. Look at these tomatoes. Definitely taking up, taking some a load home today. So I won't be buying tomatoes as well, which is brilliant. These are, these are all grown. Like I'm really pleased with the, the tomatoes. They're, they're fab. I'm not in August yet, so which is even better. Lots of weeding. This is this type of weed I don't like as well. The sweet pea looking a bit sad. I'm definitely um. We'll do those again each. I'll try each year, but these are quite late. But they're still they're still alive.
Right, still got that. So that's actually quite good because I can replenish this path. There's actually more wood chips, so I might go and get a barrel. Um, yeah, right. Oh, just spotted another cucumber. Holy Moses. Oh, that's even bigger than the other one. Oh, look, hold up. Wow. I'm definitely going to use this again next year. Yeah, and maybe make it double it, maybe just double it in size or have two of them. I've got enough of these big poles. Right, let's go back to the shed, put these down. Oh, I see something that's been digging in that. And I, oh, I did sow seeds here, but I can't see any, oh, hold on. There's a sign of them. I'm not sure. What? There's one there. But look at that, what is that? I'll go close and the snails have been over it, which isn't very nice, but it looks a little bit fungi, doesn't it? Some sort of fungus. I don't know what that is. If any of you know, let me know in the comments. But yeah, something's been digging at that. Pesky critters, some sort of a four-legged animal, I should imagine. Oh, look at, check this out. It's got a kind of silvery, grey look to it, hasn't it? Still, it's lovely, love it. And a very faint sort of purple colour. Right, right, let's get on, let's get on. What jobs to do? <laughs> so I'm just clearing this bed. Um, this is the one that's near the front. This has got all the grass growing through it. Like, what happened to the cardboard? It's bizarre. And this is mint, can you see that? That's mint. It smells quite nice actually, so I might, I might leave it. I know it's I can just keep an eye on it. I don't understand where, where, why this grass has all grown. So it's basically a repairing of this bed and adding more, getting rid of as many of these this grass seeds back. Still can't work out because this is compost and it's grown, the grass is actually grown above the, um, the compost. Um, the layer of cardboard, like it's, yeah, it's not growing through. Could it be from the compost, do you think? Uh, I don't know. Does, it is definitely not through, because that's what I've noticed before. It often, if it comes through, you, you've got to pull it through. Let's see, I'm just trying to clear the... Oh, to be fair, that looks like it's through. Yeah, that's, I'll just show you close up. I'm just trying to clear the compost away from it. flipping and putting it down. Should have brought the bucket. Oh, I'm going to go and get the um, my weed bucket. Put that in there. Oh, the sun's coming out. It's getting quite hot. I hope you all had a good week. Ooh, there's that stuff. Uh, that weird, oof, I don't know what it is. It's got to be fungus. I don't like that. I don't know what it is, but if any of you know, like I said before, look, look. Is that, this might be from the cardboard, to be fair, but I've not seen that before. Or the compost, maybe. I don't know, it seems a bit 
Oh, it's just weird. I think that's the... Looks weird. Alien. <laughs> yeah, you know, as opposed to a normal kind of mushroomy, you know, what we're familiar with. It's more there. But the owner of the holiday cottage said that they're going to be putting Starlink there, which should be... That will mean that if I, we go there again, we won't have to, I won't have any uploading worries. So I hope they do do that. So I'll definitely go there again. It was such a nice place. And we felt like we only really touched the surface for activities. We do, we love going to the Highlands. We really do. That's our favorite place, but it is, there is the long journey in our drives for a living. So he does the driving and I think he's quite like the change in, um, you know, six hours instead of 15. <laughs> and we really did miss it though. We missed the Highlands yesterday, um, at, during the holiday. So we've been going there for years. But Wales was, was so pretty. It was, we were in the Snowdonia National Park, I suppose, actually, thinking about it. And the boys did that velocity zip wire thing with our, our <laughs> I'm scared of heights, so I wouldn't go anywhere near that sort of thing. But they said the, the mountain region looks so like, reminded them of the highlands so much, which was actually quite nice. I'm going on to these, look at this grass there. And some general weeds. It'd be nice to clean this bed though, because this is at the front, everybody can see this bed, you know. I feel a carpet of the weeds underneath. Oh Lord. I think that's probably why I started no dig in the winter. In the winter months is best because the weeds aren't really growing then. If you're gonna do it. So good to note for next year. I might just wait. So we get to December months for the rest of, just keep the grass down. And as soon as we hit December, November, or maybe December, January, make more beds ready for the next year. Because my winter beds I made, deep beds, no dig beds, I mean, in plot 25 are much better. They didn't get any of this kind of grass problems and whatnot. Yeah, that's a, something to think about, I think. Oh, I've got a Merlin app to identify birds song. Oh, I must play that. Been loads under there. That's okay. A new layer of cardboard I'll have to do. Just get up what I can. To be fair, that is under the cardboard there where I'm pulling out weeds. Let's try and get rid of this. Oh, I've got to move up. Well, it looks a lot better already. Under the cardboard? I think so, yeah. Holy Moses. Morning. Hi, morning. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a little bit. Oh, that really is. Let's just show you. I'm kind of leaving the mint in just because it smells nice. <laughs> I might regret that later, but I don't mind. I'm just going to lay cardboard on top and more compost on top. And hopefully that will help. Right. I've just put you on a tripod for this. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, cardboard. Yeah, laying down the cardboard. Right. It is a bit blustery, so this cobble bit stick stay. Where he? <laughs> I really need two pieces sort of directly down the middle. Let's just try and cool, it's blustery, jeez. Jeez oh. Oh, it's lovely though, that's, that's the beautiful temperature. Apparently we're having another heat wave, I've heard, on the grapevine. <laughs> the weather grapevine. 
I don't know how true that is, but uh, well, sunshine, sunshine's nice, but too much of it. Mm, I'm not sure. Right, well, let's stick one. Wait, hold on. Quick, ah! <laughs> right. Oh, come here. Step on that. Okay. Well, I do actually need that. I'm going to get this on the ground and weighted down by some soil. Oh. I'm going to try and allow for the courgette to go in the middle. Oh, I'm just going to quickly water the courgette before I put cobble on top of it. Yeah. Oh. revisit that side just I want to go more to the right let's turn it around oh sorry cause it Rough handling, really. Oh, that would have to do. I don't want to cover those. Can't really cover that there. Ugh, never mind, never mind. I'll wet the cardboard. Right. Let's kind of get this covered. Oh, hope you can see this. of soil so I will probably be a bit more generous than usual it's just a bit the bag is really heavy get some around the corner just to weigh it down stop before I can kind of pull the bag on because the wind is strong Okay, right, now for the other side. Just water the courgette. Right. Same thing, really. <sighs> you hear the helicopter? compost on oh don't move that
Do it. Why? Right. Spread it about. Need a bit more. Whoa. To this side. Looks better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. See how that goes. Repatch, no dig. So just gonna quickly weed the bed next to it. I don't know what the time is, but it must be around nine, nine-ish. My uh, watch has stopped working. Just won't turn on. But it's really annoying because I really like that watch. <laughs> just get an old-fashioned one with a battery. I mean, honestly, or oh, clock mechanism. Jeez. No, these things, modern things just don't last, do they? Too far, I need that nearer. It's grown underneath the... Oh, this is manure under here, so... This is a winter bed, for winter, rather. Just kind of clear the weeds out of it. Going that way. The path that needs doing as well. Then I'm going to have coffee. I harvest what I've got. Some, and then we're going to go home. Oh, Will and Ames. Yes. Wheel of Names. That's good. Hopefully it works anyway. But I'll take it home and do it. reach over there. Well, it looks better anyway. Oh, stick, stick this in my pocket. They're coming through on the join, these ones, which suggests to me that the join is not is too small. I need to make sure the overlap bit is a lot more generous for future reference. Because there must be light creeping through for it to be not working. Hey, well that's a bit better anyway. Yeah. Oh, I think I'll deal with that bit tomorrow. Because time is running out. Let's clear up and do wheeler names. Oh, right, look at that. Oh, I, I, that was even a third cucumber. So I've done really well on the cucumbers. My one plum, 
a punnet of tomatoes. I'm really pleased with them. And Dee says they're ripe. And they, I have to say, I'm going to eat one. Mm. Oh my God. Sweet. Really sweet. I think they're called Alicante. I'll have to check the label again, but where well, I picked them from, but I think they're, Dee will correct me, I'm sure. But they're, they're absolutely delicious. And they're, I'm so pleased that I'm growing them. Thanks Dee for these. I, will, I think I'll definitely grow this variety again. They're, they're all doing really well. I've added earth to these. I've probably already said that and I've watered them. So I'm going to leave them be. Whew, I need a bowl. I want to collect the seeds from the sage. Oh yeah, because I want to do a bank at the front. See if I'm putting it at the front, right at the, all along, all along. So it's like a flowering fence of sage. All uh, right, let's see if the wheel of name works. I'm quite hot. So, oh, and I'll have a coffee while I'm doing it. Right, let's just get the coffee on. Let's just tidy up a bit. Oh, it's so good. To, I know it's lovely to go away, but isn't it lovely to come back? Does anyone get that? You know, it was kind of nice to get be home. The house is a complete mess with bags and all our stuff is everywhere. So I need to spend the day sorting that. Let's move you up. Oh, <sighs> cheers, everybody. Right, let's d get this wheel of names. Excuse the noise. He's streaming. Okay, I need my glasses, quite dark. Uh, it's bright, it's as bright as I can make it. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, I'll do it at home. Where's my, oh yeah. Okay, good luck everyone. Oh, it works, that's fantastic. Oh, there we go. Trey 8820. Well, congratulations, Trey 8820. I don't know who that is. You need to email me. Oh my God, this is so noisy. Right, I'm going to stop. <laughs> right, email me your address and I'm going to remove you and we're going to do it a second one. Okay, one more go because we've got two prints to give away. Caroline Saunders, Ray. Well, well done, both of you. Um, email me your address, and I'll get one the print out for you. Uh, thanks everybody for taking part. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. It's so noisy, and I'm steaming up my glasses, but I've got to go home, and I can't wait till he's finished because he could be doing this another thirty minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I'm just going to finish my coffee. Well, there you go. Two winners for the prints. Thank you, Jim and Maureen, for being able to facilitate this. That's so, such a nice thing to do. Um, thank you very much. Um, well done to the two winners. And I'm sorry, everybody who didn't win one. Oh, <laughs> you do wish you could give everyone one, but I need to sell them in order to make money. And with that in mind, there actually are, they're on sale in the shop. Um, I will put a link in the description. <sighs> oh. Don't worry if you can't, if you'd like, like to, but you can't afford to. Just watching the channel. <sighs> Some maybe let the ads roll. Oh, I'm not monetized yet. What am I even talking about? Oh my God. I've got to wait till I'm a thousand subscribers. But then let the ads roll. <laughs> Make a cup of tea. Not now, not at the moment. That's all goes to YouTube, so don't do that. I'll try and um, muffle his sound, the sound of his streaming with, with the editing thing. Okay, take care everybody and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.